deep within the heart of an ancient, sprawling forest, where sunlight barely touched the forest floor and the air was thick with the scent of moss and pine, lived a mysterious woman known only as Alera. Her existence was a whispered legend among the local villagers, who spoke of her in hushed tones, their eyes wide with both fear and fascination. Alara had lived in solitude for decades, her origins shrouded in secrecy. Some said she was a sorceress, others claimed she was a guardian of the forest. Her home was a quaint, ivy-covered cottage that seemed to merge seamlessly with the surrounding wilderness. The walls were adorned with strange symbols and her garden bloomed with rare, otherworldly flowers that seemed to glow softly under the moonlight. One summer's day, a daring and intrepid explorer named Daniel ventured into the forest. Driven by stories of hidden treasures and forgotten mysteries, he was determined to uncover whatever secrets lay hidden among the trees. Armed with nothing but his compass and a notebook, Daniel set off into the forest, unaware that his journey would lead him to Alara. Days turned into weeks as Daniel navigated the dense foliage and treacherous terrain. Just as he began to lose hope, he stumbled upon a clearing bathed in a surreal, ethereal light. At its center stood Alara's cottage, a beacon of warmth and magic amidst the cold, dark forest. Daniel, intrigued and weary, approached cautiously. Alara emerged from the cottage, her presence both commanding and serene. Her long, silver hair flowed like a river of moonlight, and her eyes held a depth of wisdom that seemed to pierce through the very soul. Despite her otherworldly aura, she greeted Daniel with a calm and gentle demeanor. Welcome, traveler, Alara said, her voice like a melodious whisper. Few find their way to this place, and fewer still have the courage to stay. Daniel introduced himself and explained his quest. Alara listened intently, her gaze never wavering. After a moment of silence, she offered him food and shelter, a gesture of unexpected kindness in such an enigmatic figure. Over the course of several days, Daniel and Alara conversed extensively. She spoke of ancient lore, the delicate balance of nature, and the mystical creatures that roamed the forest. Daniel, entranced by her knowledge and charisma, began to see the forest through her eyes. The trees seemed more alive, the air charged with magic. One evening, as they sat by the fire, Elara revealed a secret that had been hidden for centuries. She was indeed a guardian of the forest, entrusted with a sacred duty to protect an ancient relic of immense power. This relic, a crystal imbued with the essence of the forest, maintain the harmony between the natural world and the supernatural. However, a dark force had begun to threaten the balance, seeking to corrupt the relic and unleash chaos upon the land. Alara, though powerful, could not confront this malevolent force alone. Recognizing Daniel's bravery and determination, she asked for his help. Together, they embarked on a perilous journey through the heart of the forest. They faced trials that tested their courage and resolve, from treacherous ravines to enchanted beasts. Daniel's resourcefulness and Alara's mystical abilities complemented each other perfectly. Through their trials, a deep bond formed between them, transcending their initial differences. As they reached the sacred shrine where the relic was hidden, they confronted the Dark Force, a shadowy entity that sought to engulf everything in its path. 